Hey guys, how are you doing? So today I have some more bracelets for us to go through. <clears throat> this is a shopgoodwill.com uh, bracelet auction. So yesterday's video was really long, so I thought I'd do something that was a lot quicker today. <laughs> Um, if you're new to the channel, this is Opportunity Thrift, and my name is Lillian. And what we do on this channel is we do jewelry unboxings, we go to thrift stores, we go to antique stores, vintage stores, sometimes we go to discount stores, just, um, you know, TJ Maxx type places. So, um... Basically, a thrifting channel with uh, a big skew <clears throat> toward jewelry and, and purses, but sometimes other things too. And so if you're new, welcome. And if you've been here before, thank you for coming back. I really appreciate it. It, uh, it helps the channel grow and I like seeing you know, some of you that are starting to become friends. So I do appreciate all of you being here. Now this bracelet, you know, I can't tell if this pattern, oh my goodness, the sun is coming in like crazy. And I hope it doesn't create too much trouble for us here. Um, I don't know if this pattern is wear or on purpose, but I kind of, I kind of like it and um, I don't think it really detracts I think I think it actually was wear uh, but it kind of gives it this vintage look that I'm really liking now the edge is not worn so you know that makes me think maybe this was all done like this on purpose I don't know but anyway, if anybody would like this bracelet, that will be $4. Okay, we have a blingy, stretchy bracelet with excellent stretch. This, let's see, make sure it has all its rhinestones, and it does. And this is a size six, let's say. Really, really pretty, gorgeous rhinestone bracelet. If, oh, one, one rhinestone is missing. Okay, but that's on the underside. Nobody would ever know. Yeah, nothing's missing here on top. So if anybody wanted this bracelet, $5. Then we have, we have this link stretch bracelet. The stretch is okay, but the elastic, I think it's going to need to be restrung very soon. Um, the rhinestones, let's check the rhinestones. They are... So far, all there. These are gorgeous links. Really, really pretty links. Yeah, I think the rhinestones are all there. And this is a size, well, about a seven, I would say. So if anybody wants this bracelet, that will be $6. Then we have this bracelet, bronze, really pretty leaf pattern, leaf and flower pattern, no maker's mark, it's a cuff style, Let's see if we can figure out, well, I'll let you decide what size this is. There's such a range. If we take the middle, it's about a six and a half. Um, so if anybody wants this bracelet, absolutely gorgeous bracelet. 
And that'll be seven dollars. Okay, then we have let me take it out of the sun. It's hard to tell. It's kind of in between a silver and a gold. It's really, I want to say it's more goldy, gold, gold like. And the camera it's showing up more gold the more i look at it it's more gold yeah it's kind of an antique -y gold it's definitely not a shiny gold like 14 karat gold look it's more of an antique -y gold um so let's say six and three quarters it's in good shape i don't see anything wrong with it five dollars I'm liking these bracelets in this lot. These are all pretty so far. Okay, so this one has a few, well, let's see. Not so much scratches. I wonder if it just needs a good wash. Probably just needs a good wash. And look at the inside. This is, you know, kind of nicely done. The elastic, Mm, it's going to need to be restrung. It's not that stretchy anymore. So let's say six and a half. Three dollars on this one. Then we have this corded bracelet with little uh, gold beads. All the beads are there. The cord's in great shape. Maybe a little bit of fraying on the end of the knots that could be trimmed back. So, $2 if anybody wants that one. We have a pink plastic bracelet, size 8. $1 for that one. Ooh, something just fell apart. Okay, I have to go look for that bead that's on the floor. All right, this is pretty. We have a bunch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten. I counted right, that's ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. Nice. Okay. And this is a size seven and three quarters, eight. So, needs a little wash, needs a little bit of a cleaning. Nothing, nothing major, no dings. No chips to the gold tone. Just right here, a little bit of vinegar would clean that up. So six dollars, if anybody wants that. Then we have, ooh, this one needs to be restrung. But let's look at the individual links, which are gorgeous. So far, I'm not seeing any missing stones. Nope, no missing stones. A little hard to tell on size, but let's say yeah, maybe a seven and a half if it wasn't stretched out. So just because these links are so gorgeous, even though it needs to be restrung, um, $4 for that one. Then we have this cuff. Really pretty. This looks like it's brand new. Very, very shiny. No damage anywhere. Size six and three quarters. Four dollars. Four dollars for that one. Then, let's see, how did I, how the heck did this get tangled up? Oh, because it's, 
That's how it opens. It looked like a bangle. Not a bangle. Clamper. Okay. <clears throat> no maker's mark on the inside. Really pretty. These are not gold. These are silver tone. Sometimes you see these with silver tone and then gold. But these are all silver tone. Mm, about a size 7. So if anybody would like this bracelet, that'll be $5. Then we have this gold tone bracelet. Uh, what is this? I think it's uh, remnants of glue from a... Uh, from a price tag or something. So let's say a size seven. Some minor scratching. $3 for that one. Then we have Superstar. Stretchy, brand new. Faux pearls and like black, black beads, faceted beads, plastic, not, not glass. <clears throat> so five and three quarters, <clears throat> not stretched, brand new, $3. Then we have a fun yellow bracelet. It needs a little wash. It's a size seven and three quarters. Three dollars for that one. We have one of these. Two dollars for that one. Then we have, this one has a lot of wear on the inside, or maybe a lot of makeup. The more I look at it, I'm thinking it's a lot, a lot of makeup, a lot of pinkish makeup. So this one definitely needs a good wash. But since I'm not sure, not 100% sure that's makeup, eight and a quarter, uh, this one will be a dollar, just because I, you know, I don't want someone to buy it and say, oh, that didn't, you know, it wasn't makeup. So, let's see. About a six and a half. I don't know what that little hole is for. It's not the same on the other side. So, it'll be a dollar just because of that that hole. Okay, let's see what this is. No maker's mark. Uh, let me get my, well, actually, I was going to say let me get my magnet, but I could just do a little scratch on this one. I don't know, that's looking like it might be something guys I do have my blinds closed and it's not helping it's still coming through so I don't know it's dissolving very slowly yeah it is dissolving okay that dissolved with the 18 karat, but let me just try the 10 karat, just because, I don't know, it has a feel to it that feels a lot better than most custom jewelry. So that's 10 karat, not dissolving. I don't, hmm. I mean, it sure doesn't feel like 14 karat gold. See, this is where, this 
is where I need I need help. <laughs> I need someone to educate me a little more on when this happens. Because sometimes it just feels like gold and I have no question. Okay, so 14 is dissolving, but 10 is not. That's 10. That's 14. That's 18. 18 is all gone. 14 is slowly dissolving. 10 is not. So my knowledge on this would tell me that this is gold, but it, man, I was thinking silver. I don't, I just don't know. I'm going to put this one aside. I'm not giving a price for it. I'm just going to, I'm going to take it in with the rest of the ones and hopefully I will find a kind jeweler to sit down with me and explain to me what that means. I mean, is that 10 karat gold? Is that gold plated? Is that gold filled? Um, sterling is a lot easier for me to tell. This is a size eight, very, very lightweight, hollow. The edges have, oh, this is craft. Not, not good, not good. All right. I am liking this. This is cork. And if you can tell, it's got little green going through it. So it's kind of like a zebra print with little green accents. It looks brand new on the inside, except for one little ding right there. Everywhere else, it looks fine. So let's see, about a size six and three dollars, three dollars for that one. And then we have, um, it kind of feels like pewter and it is signed. It's J. Jill. J. Jill. So we have a designer, a designer cuff bracelet. It looks brand new. I don't see any dings. I don't see any scratches. It may not be pewter, but it kind of has that pewter look to it. So let's say a six and a half. It's very heavy. Very nice. $8 for that one. That one's the best one in the lot so far. Unless this ends up being something. I don't know. I don't know. This is craft. I'm putting this in craft. There won't be enough here to make a craft lot, but I'll just save it for some other time. Uh, size 7. All the rhinestones are there. It's looking brand new. I don't see any dings, any scratches, nothing. Looks great. $5 for that one. And then we have, this one's gold tone, but kind of that antique gold tone, hammered look. It looks fine. I don't see anything about this. that maybe one little tiny superficial scratch right there one little tiny superficial i wish i could do some about the sun i have no other place in the house to do this and my blinds are drawn but it is strong today it's a size six so five dollars for that one Ooh, this is pretty. Uh, it's not enamel. It's like there's a plastic coating over maybe, you know, just a piece of paper that's got this pattern. Okay. There's some remnants of like price tags 
on the inside. So that would need to be cleaned off. Yellow and black, not navy blue. And this is a seven and three quarters. And inside it's bronze tone, bronze tone on the inside. So $3 for that one. And then we have a stretchy yellow with little silver beads. I'd say around a size six, unstretched, $1, plastic. Ooh, then we have, wow, this is a showstopper. Clamp, doesn't quite line up with the hole. Yeah, does not line up with the hole, but it's very close. I don't know that that really matters very much when you have all this. <laughs> it is something else. Okay, let's see what size this is. This is a size six and a quarter. And if anybody wants this one, let me just give you an idea. This is big, about two and a half inches so if anybody wants this one five dollars then we have this one does this have to line up no this one doesn't need to line up really pretty autumn colors so gold, orange, green, like a like an autumn, like an autumn uh, garden. So six and a half, five dollars on that one. Okay, what is this? And it has a charm. What does that say? Twisted Silver LLC. Twisted. Huh. I have never heard of that. Let me take this off the light and see. Yeah, no, it's kind of looking like this may be worn or damaged. When I take it off the light, it doesn't look like it. So I don't know if this is an artisan piece not sure it's really different it's really unique about a six and a half so five dollars for that one then we have this enamel bracelet enamel and see is that silver tone or gold tone I think it's gold I think it's gold tone it's a little hard to tell it does have um, a mark inside it's a little hard to make it out are those letters J T or yeah J or T B I don't I don't know but it's a very very nicely done clamp bracelet this is gorgeous and it's in excellent condition Excellent condition. If anybody wants this, $8. That one's, I think, our nicest one now. That, that's sort of the 
the found treasure in this in this lot so we have one of these and they are all rhinestones all the rhinestones are there if you don't stretch it out it's about a six and a quarter four dollars for that one And then we have a stretchy, it was $10 somewhere, $10.50. How's the stretch on this? But it looks broken. Is it broken? Yeah, that's the problem. It's broken. Okay, so going into craft for a dollar if anybody wants the beads. Okay, then we have, this is new. Oh, this doesn't belong. Okay, that did look like it didn't belong. Kato, extra large. These are gunmetal. There's a little ding right there. But the other two are fine. I, they're not hooked up together. They're just you know, for sale purposes. So $2 for that one. Then we have kind of orange peach and white beads. All the beads are there. It's a size eight, $2. We have this stretchy. All the beads are there. The stretch is still pretty good. I would say six and a half without really stretching it. Four dollars. Then we have Faded Glory, Nickel Free, Hypoallergenic, it was $4.83 somewhere. It's, it's cute. It's new. So $2 for that one. This one's broken. Craft. This is just plastic, but I gotta tell you, it's an nicer plastic. I know that sounds strange, but it is. It's a nicer plastic. It's eight and a half. It doesn't have any scratches or dings. Two dollars. Just something about it. Maybe, maybe it's glass. See, like this is plastic. This is different. It might be glass. I wouldn't be surprised. So, that one is a little nicer. This is just going to go into craft. What's this? A heart and a cross and faith and pretty beads. They look like mm, hard to tell if they're clay or some sort of composite resin based material stretch is okay it's not maybe the best it's not like brand new this has been sitting around i think a little bit six and a quarter um but the beads are really pretty and i think the stretch is okay for a while and at some point it'll need restringing so three dollars for that one okay this is like a slinky <laughs> <laughs> they still make slinkies i have no idea uh six and a half why not they were fun so two dollars for that one okay this one's nicer too black enamel all the rhinestones are there any designer mark no designer mark. It's uh, a clamp. 
six and three quarters. Five dollars on that one. That one looks to be, you know, brand new in great condition. A little stretchy plastic beads. Um, craft. It's kind of falling apart. We have a gold tone in great condition. You know, now that I look at it, it's got a little bend here, but I don't know if. Hmm. It does have a little bend. Maybe that's why it ended up in this lot. It's a seven and a half. I am putting it in craft, but if anybody wants it and doesn't care about the little bend, a dollar. Then we have this gold tone. Really beautiful bracelet. It is heavy. It's very nicely made. It looks brand new. It's a bangle, a size eight. Four dollars for that one. That one's really nice. Okay, this is resin of some kind, very lightweight. That's going into craft. I had a few of those recently. I guess maybe they're in now, I don't know. Okay, not much else left here. Uh, stretchy with good stretch. Actually, really pretty beads. The beads um, feel kind of cold, so they might be glass beads. Size six, $2 for that one. This looks new, gold tone, black, black stone, uh, six and three quarters, three dollars for that one. And this is very lightweight, silver tone. It's not really a hammered look, it's more of these little Hammered dots. It's not not like a random pattern, like a usual hammered look. It's just got these little dots. So size eight and a quarter, uh, two dollars for that one. And then we have these are not rhinestones, but the way the metal is cut, it kind of looks like. You know, from afar, it looks like it could be rhinestones, but it's just the way the metal pattern is. It's really kind of, kind of a fun design. There is wear on the inside. And this is a eight and a half. So $3 for that one. We have quite a bit of wear on this one, so that's going in that craft pile. A blue stone. It's got wear. I'm going to put it in that craft pile. Actually, I'm putting all of these in that craft pile. Maybe not this one, that one's different. All of this is gonna go in that craft pile. If anybody wants me to dig any of these out, I will. Uh, but otherwise, you know, a dollar a piece or it's going in that little craft bucket. And then when it gets to be a bigger amount, random earrings go in there too. Okay. This is gunmetal. A few random scratches, so I'm putting that in that pile. Plastic, that's going there too. And then we just have two more things. So this cuff is gold tone. 
a little hard to tell, but I don't want to take it out of plastic because it protects it. It is lightweight. I'm not sure on size. If I had a guess, I'd say a seven. Two dollars for that one. And then this is surprisingly heavy, which makes it kind of interesting. It looks to be in new condition. Well, actually, one little spot where the enamel is worn right there. Oh, second spot there. Tiny spots, though. I would say that's still in just about brand new condition. Size eight and a quarter. And this looks good otherwise. All the stones are there. So $2 for that one. Let me just get my magnet and try, try this out. Be right back. Okay, let's see, is this magnet? Ah, look at that, it's magnetic. And you know what? Now after all this time, it's eaten away. Boy, that took a long time. So this is not anything. Okay, glad I brought out the magnet. So let's price this and measure it. So six and a half. So if anybody wanted this piece, four dollars okay guys so thank you for joining me and we had quite a bracelet lot today and if you want to see more videos like this please hit the like and the subscribe buttons it helps the channel tremendously and i will see you soon bye bye